Welcome. This section on human dignity and the foundations of human dignity is focused on dignity as the cornerstone for individual and organizational excellence, truly the foundation of human excellence. And what we're going to go through is a little bit of a revision of last time, the foundations and the drive to bond that is so critical for us as human beings as we have developed from Homo erectus to Homo sapiens. And the reasons that understanding the drive to bond as an independent drive, not as a drive to help maximize any kind of power or wealth or other utility function, is critical in our understanding for how we can uh, move towards human excellence. Same thing with the drive to comprehend. The drive that really makes us ask the question why, why we're here and uh, give us a sense to uh, the meaning that we're seeking in the world and also the kind of invention that we create in the world. So in that sense, meaning making I'll also the drive to comprehend as an independent drive. And if we understand the ultimate objective of dignity, to balance the drives, not to maximize one of them, then we get to a new understanding of human excellence. So just to revisit the drive to acquire, is that what we need to survive in terms of food, sex, status, recognition, etc. The drive to bond is what we need to feel good about, to trust, to respect and care and feel cared for. The drive to comprehend is what we need to make sense of the world. And the drive to defend, to defend expresses what we need to feel safe in the world. So here are the questions that you can use to assess your level of uh, dignity. And I ask you to just jot down very briefly in your notebooks, uh, what are your answers on a range from 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, on each of those questions. The first question is, I feel fully alive every day. From 1 to 10, where would you rate yourself? And don't overthink it, just sort of jot down a number for now. The second question is, I feel like a human being and not a human resource. Again, from 1 to 10, jot down a number, 1 being low, 10 being high. And the last question, I'm excited to be alive. Again, from 1 to 10, 10 being the highest. So there's nothing wrong about where you answer. It's just a way to start thinking about it. And here are the questions according to the four drives. I would like you to think about whether you agree with the following statements, again, from one to 10. I am respected. Give yourself a score from one to 10. The second question, I have my material needs covered. Again, from 1 to 10. Second set of questions. I have best friends at work. From 1 to 10. 10 being the highest. I have many people I trust in my life. <clears throat> from 1 to 10. Next set of questions. I am serving something larger than myself. From 1 to 10. I can make an important contribution every day, from 1 to 10, 10 being the highest. Next set of questions. I feel safe and protected, again from 1 to 10. I speak up and share my thoughts, from 1 to 10, 10 being the highest. All right, so just to... Um, remind us this is all based on a consistency of knowledge in which we can understand that being in balance is actually both allowing us to thrive and allowing us to survive so this balance piece is really critical and we're going to get there in a moment but i'd like you to Make sure that you have a score for yourself on all these questions. The, the four question sets that I asked you before, 
they all represent one of the drives. Two questions for, for the drive to acquire, two questions for the drive to defend, two questions for the drive to bond, and two questions for the drive to comprehend. So ideally, you achieve a certain balance across them. And if not, then you can ask yourself, what's happening here? How much are you self, yourself seeing that you're flourishing, that you feel alive, that you feel excited to be alive every day? High-performing teams <clears throat> are equally um, focused on the balance of the four drives with a shared purpose, with trust present, with the skills and resources present to achieve goals, and having psychological and physical safety. So here are the questions that I'm asking you regarding the team that you're working in. Are you achieving the goals you are setting? Are you compensated adequately? each one of you? Are you powerfully related to each other as human beings? Do you trust each other? Do you sense you have an important impact on the world every day? Do you experience making a positive contribution every day? Are all team members speaking up? And are all team members healthy? We know that high-performing teams, again, have these independent drives. In balance, <clears throat> there are specific performance goals. There is mutual accountability. There's a lot of communication occurring. There is a meaningful purpose that is higher than achieving the goals that you set out in the drive to acquire. And there's a lot of psychological safety. When the imbalance occurs, again, is when people are not speaking up, when people communicate to, general, to avoid conflict, when there's a lot of fear and people do not like each other, when there's no consensus on the purpose and the direction of the team, and when there's very low accountability towards performance goals. With that, I just want to co close this for a moment and, and we'll provide you with the question in a separate context, but let's get, let, I want to get you to think about the notion of balance. <clears throat> there's typically an imbalance in place and that's where you can start uh, twisting and tweaking at the level of yourself and at the level of the team that you're part of thank you <laughs>